All right, now it's time for us to learn how to check for operating system updates or Windows updates. So let's click on the Windows button and we'll go over to Control Panel. And we're, you see this view by up here in the top right? We're going to right click on the category, I'm sorry, left click, and we're going to choose small icons. And this just gives us more options. It's, it's more like the uh, old Windows 7 or, or XP uh, control panel. So we'll click in the bottom right corner of Windows Updates, use your, your last option. And once that comes up, we can see here that we've never checked for updates, we've never installed updates, and we're receiving updates for Windows only. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the left here and we're going to say check for updates. Okay. And this, since it's the first time, it's going to take quite a while to run. So we're going to let this run and we'll check back in a few minutes. All right, so it's done checking for updates and we can see we have 180 important updates and 29 optional updates. So if we look over here at the optional updates, we can see what these are. So if we wanted to see more information about any of these vulnerabilities, we can click on the more information button. But before we do that, uh, we haven't set up our web browser configuration yet. And what I mean by that is we need to turn off enhanced security. Okay, so click over here on server manager and click on local server. Okay, so IE enhanced security configuration is turned on. Basically, this is going to pop up and ask us to add in a security exception for any kind of different website that we try to visit. So what I need to do is click on the on button here and we want to turn it off for administrators. Okay, so there's administrators and it's regular users. We're going to select off for administrators and we're going to click OK. OK, so IE enhanced security configuration is turned off. So now if we wanted to see more information, we could click this button right here. It'll bring open Internet Explorer. And this is just telling us that protected mode is turned off. We're just going to ignore that and say don't show this message again. All right, here we go. So virtual machines do not respond to your operations and blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is the first time I've used Internet Explorer, so it's asking me. I'm just going to say recommended settings. So you can read more about the vulnerability cause, resolution, and etc. So you can see the KB number is listed here. So if you wanted to, you can look up any number that you wanted. You just type it in after the KB in the URL. So this is KB 31336.81 and we're looking at 33, or I'm sorry, 31336.81. Okay. And close out of that. And we could do the same for each one of these updates if we wanted to. And same goes for important updates. Uh, you know, a lot of times these are security updates to keep you from getting hacked or getting viruses on your computer, etc. Anything that makes the operating system vulnerable. So we have 179 updates selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install. All right, so it's going to download the updates and we'll just wait for that to finish. All right, so it's done installing the updates. So it wants us to reboot. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're going to log in and check on these updates. So hit right control and delete. Type in our administrator password. Okay, so we'll click Start, Control Panel, Windows Updates. All right, so if we go to Check for Updates, I'm sorry, if we go to View Update History, we can view these are all the updates that were installed. Okay. So we'll go back. And there's three more important updates, 29 optional updates. If we wanted to go in, we could go in and install those updates. I don't believe it's necessary, so that concludes this lecture. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to manage local user accounts on our server. So what we're going to do is we're going to click over here in the bottom left corner on the Windows button, and we're going to go to Control Panel. Next, we're going to click on User Accounts, and we're going to click on User Accounts again. Now let's click on manage another account. Okay, so here we can view all the accounts. So we have a guest account, which is turned off at the, at the moment. And then we have the administrator account, which is this is the account that we set up when we installed the operating system. Now, if we wanted to turn on the account, we can select it and we can choose turn on or we can just leave it off. Okay, or we can add a new user account. So we'll click down here in the bottom left. I'm gonna name this test and I'm gonna create a password. It has to be a secure password. You can't use a password like test or, you know, ABCD123 or something like that. It might work. I don't think it will. Uh, and then you need to type in a pass password hint. So I'll just type in hint because I don't really care. I'm going to click next. 
Okay, so we're going to add the following user. Click finish, and notice it says local account. Okay, versus local being versus domain account. All right, so now we have the account here, and we can select it. We can choose. We can change the name. We can change the password. We can change the account type, which basically from a standard user to administrator, someone who can make changes to the PC versus someone who can't. Um, we're just going to click cancel. All right, or we can click manage another account. So let's go ahead and let's test out our test account. So I'm going to hit right control and delete, and I'm going to select switch user. Okay, I'm going to hit right control and delete again. And you can see the account appears here in the list, so I'm going to click test. I'm going to type in the password I created for this account. All right, so it brings us to our desktop. So if we click here, we can see that our account is test in the top right. And if we go under control panel, for example, and we'll go to uninstall programs, let's just right click on this and say uninstall. Continue. And you can see that it prompts us under user account control for an administrator password. This is because we created this user account as a standard account, so we cannot uninstall or reinstall programs, okay? So the standard account is more restricted than the administrator account. So we're done here. Let's just click the start button, select the name, and click sign out. Okay. Now let's log back into our administrator account. Okay. So this pops back up. So we can see the difference is that this has the, this is an administrator account and this is not. So if we wanted to change this to administrator, we just click there and choose administrator account. Then it would be able to do all the other functions that the administrator default administrator account can do. Now you could just type in the administrator account password and you would be able to use this account as a standard account. Some uh, some security policies will require you to use what they call elevated permissions and it's where you log into a standard account like our test account and then when you need to do an administrative action you type in the username and password of your administrator account. Okay, Just all options that you have. So let's go ahead and click on the test account and let's delete it. So click delete the account. And here we can choose whether we want to keep these files or delete the user's files. And in our case, we don't need to keep any of its you know, favorites, pictures, or anything like that. So we're just going to click delete files. And it's going to ask us again, are you sure you want to delete the account? We'll click yes. Or we'll click delete account, sorry. Oops. Okay, there we go. So that's how you manage accounts on Windows Server 2012.